guys, this is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a very awesome tag called the best pre-owned luxury item tag. I was tagged by the lovely Jerusha Couture to do this tag and I am so honored to do it. I wanted to do it anyway, but after I saw her first Instagram post on how some individual can be just so nasty and uh, you know, saying all these bad stuff about I don't know pre-owned and just about her in general My gosh, my heart was like I couldn't stand it. We all love Jerusha, of course But she's also one of the most reasonable person that I can think of on our community or it, Just in general, I feel like she is a very nice person and just a very open person She doesn't you know discriminate. She's very passionate about what she does. So there is absolutely no reason for anybody to say that in fact there's absolutely no reason for anybody to say that to anybody if you're a decent human being well, i felt very passionate about her rant also in her vlog and it was the best rant ever segment that i've ever heard not just because she's so cool and that she's so entertaining whenever she talks like when she talks you're just glued to the screen but also the fact that it just makes sense I mean, come on, it just makes sense. I'm definitely gonna show you guys uh, my best pre-owned item. I have items actually that I wanna show in this video, but I wanna preface this video by saying that doing this kind of ha this kind of behavior, like shaming for buying pre-loved or shaming for whatever reason, shaming for you know, uh, you know, commenting on someone's appearance or uh, uh, like. Oh, Whatever, I can't even think of anything because I just I just don't do this kind of stuff. It's completely wrong. Sure, there's differences of opinion and all that, but you can still express them with respect and you can still, you know, accept that someone else has a different opinion than yours. So it's definitely not that if you don't love luxury videos, if you don't love unboxing of pre-loved items bought from, you know, consignment stores and whatnot then don't watch it. Why are you putting yourself in this kind of misery? If you don't like broccoli and you keep on complaining about broccoli, then why are you eating it? Just don't eat it and stop complaining about it and grow up and be a decent human being. Speaking of pre-love, this jacket is pre-love. I think I bought it a couple years ago at uh, the consignment store that I go to to consign my items. It was basically brand new when I bought it. This is a Zara jacket and I've always loved this style because I love how the shoulder puffs up. Back to the luxury items, I actually have a couple that I really really enjoy. So first of all, I have a, this a mini pochette. Uh, if you guys don't know, basically I bought this also brand new because the person that bought it, uh, and by the way, I found this on the Facebook groups. For the longest time, I resisted buying uh, a mini pochette because I never thought that this size of item would fit anything, but I end up using it almost every day. And you guys know what I put inside. I always show it in my what's in my bag videos, which I know I should do more because I'm so inspired by all the people who are doing all the what's in my bag Wednesdays. Speaking of my best ever, best, best, best luxury pre-love item, it would have to be my jumbo single flap. And I was definitely, definitely inspired by Jerusha and Christina and like a bunch of other people, uh, Pei, my friend Pei, uh, that has the same bag. And yeah, I, I I just absolutely love this bag. They stopped production of single flaps uh, in 2010. Prices have just gone up the roof. To be able to buy something like this, that is basically almost 8K in Canada with taxes at a price that is way more reasonable, even though it is pre-love, it's just an amazing thing. This is not mint condition by any means, but it's pretty excellent condition if you ask me. And if I had to be super critical, it is in very good condition because I do see a couple of very tiny scuffs when I got it. Um, but honestly, when you start using your things, you don't even you don't even notice them because when you're really using something, you use something. And it doesn't matter if there's like tiny flaws. So I have like a little bit of a scuff here. It's like so tiny, but it's there. Um, and of course, as you can see, the bag has you know, the leather has sort of like relaxed. So it's definitely broken in and the pockets are more broken in. Um, and there's like a little bit of imperfections, but in general, it is imperfectly perfect, if that makes sense. And the beauty is that the owner of this bag 
probably sold it at the price that she bought it at or maybe just slightly less or slightly more than what she bought it at and I was able to buy this bag at half the cost of what it, I would have paid for uh, well maybe a little bit more than half but basically a little bit more than half of what I would have probably paid for retail at this point and so it's a win-win situation honestly if I knew that this bag would work out so well in my lifestyle I would have bought it way earlier but I just I didn't know because I always thought that the jumbo size uh, in the Chanel flaps are just way too heavy the luxury community giving so much of their feedback on the differences between the two um, and I took the plunge I'm so glad that I took the plunge that you know after getting it and using it in person and wanting to reach for it so often like I, I'm just so glad that I was able to get this pre-love basically because there's no other way this this model has been discontinued I've had purchased several luxury items I don't own anymore I bought two LVPM agendas on eBay I really tried hard to like it but it was just so small the pages um, I just felt like I couldn't write in this thing I was so glad that I was able to resell them on eBay basically at a discounted price also because I was able to pass on the savings that I got the very first time I also bought a compact zippy wallet in Damier Ben uh, I think it was from a local sale so I found it on Craigslist uh, from someone here in, Lo in Vancouver and it was basically brand new like she had it for a few months only and uh, she, I think she had like 10 wallets or something so she basically just didn't need an extra one I knew that it wasn't for me after a while and I was able to resell it also on Craigslist by the time I resold it there was like a couple price increase on that item already so the person that bought it off of me she was so happy and uh, she even like mistakenly texted me back telling me that she feels like a you know she's so happy that she got it but she was the text was actually meant for her friend so it was kind of funny that she was able to share her happiness uh well accidentally with me so the next thing that i bought also pre-love that is no longer in my in my collection because i recently sold it is my alma bb in the ippy leather in black and that bag was so gorgeous i basically bought it brand new as well i bought it off ebay but it was actually a consignment store that um posted it on ebay uh so it was a reputable source and of course i told you guys all about why I sold it in my Q&A number 26 my heart-to-heart Q&A so you guys can check it out if you're curious as to why I sold from personal experience I feel like whenever I'm confined to a limited amount of things that I can use for example if I'm traveling I can only bring you know one suitcase worth of clothes and things like that shoes and everything I feel like I actually basically use every single item for like a certain period of time and I enjoy every item so much and that's how I like to keep my sort of belongings I guess and that applies to my luxury items and that's you know that's basically one of the reasons why I sold it but yeah the subby that bought it off of me is also Canadian hi girl uh, and she loves it and the fact that she was able to get all the savings that I got initially from buying that bag and that bag went up in price so many times it's so amazing to be able to buy pre-love items and still find them in amazing or even mint condition and get all these savings i'm so glad that this tag was created uh, and that it's going around people are making their own versions of their tag videos uh, so thank you eva for doing this tag for creating this tag and thank you so much to jerusha for tagging me i just feel that buying pre-loved or buying new they're both just great it's a different experience but buying pre-love there are several advantages so not only can you get savings usually uh, you can get styles that are completely discontinued and you probably cannot find them anywhere else you can find stuff in mint condition or in amazing condition but if not in mint condition they would be a slightly broken in and that also adds to your experience of using them because sometimes when something is too new you're too afraid to use it or you're basically uh, you know you, you don't you want to keep it as nice as possible so you try not to use it as much of course it's a personality thing some people just are not afraid to use their things which is awesome but some people are and that's just to each their own either way is fine and yes of course when sometimes when you buy pre-love it could be more expensive than buying retail it just depends on how much in demand the item is or how limited the item is but at least 
you get the opportunity to buy it if you've missed on it. So before I go, I will tag a few people. I would love to see what they have to say about this. I think we should get this tag going, going and going. Amy Jo, LV Lover CC, uh, Matcha Diary, Melon Melbourne, Andre, Hey June, and Minx Raw. Obviously, I'm super passionate about bags, but I'm also super passionate about just voicing your opinion and standing up for yourself because um, shaming is not right, bullying is not right, um, and you know, respect is the way to go. And respecting differences in opinion is also the way to go. So we're here all to have fun and to enjoy and to make friends. So if you don't feel happy watching these types of videos, then do not watch it. That's all I have to say. And so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm Amy. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe and come back to my channel. I do post every single week. I do try to post at least once on Monday, but I do often post several bonus videos throughout the week. I'll leave all the links down below. I have Instagram. You can follow me there as well. And of course, I have a vlogging channel. It's brand new, but you guys can also follow me there. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!